What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're gonna talk about liquid lime. This has got to be the probably the most asked question that I have received in the past two weeks out of anything else and it's insane. And more and more people hear about it and ask about it each year because of you know companies that are marketing and more and more people hear about it and they get more exposure and people are curious and that's just what happens. So liquid lime. I've made a couple of videos about this in the past and hopefully we can hammer down on it on this video but uh, liquid lime is what it is liquid lime you mix it with water and you spray it on your soil to try to increase or add that calcium to your soil to give it to the plants so the plants can have you know better nutrition to grow into a plant that's basically what it is the problem with it is a lot of them don't physically change the actual pH. So if you have, for instance, a 5.5 pH and you add this liquid lime, you go to do your soil sample, it's not going to change. Some of them, some companies claim that it changes the chemistry of the soil to allow the plants to uptake the nutrient, whatever it is. The fact is it's not changing the pH, okay? And it's very short-lived. Yes, it may add some calcium to your plot, right? But then a week or two or three weeks down the road, it's now gone because it's just it deter you know washes away or you know sink you know uh, goes down into your soil and it just leaches away. Well, what good is that? And some of this stuff is costly. I will say that there is absolutely no substitute for actual physical lime, and everybody wants a shortcut, and that's why people are curious about liquid lime because they want a shortcut. They companies market products a certain way to get you to think and give you hopes of that it's going to solve all your problems the issue is there's no substitute for actual physical lime I don't know whether it's you know people want that shortcut or they just don't want to put the labor you know they want to fork out the labor or the cost of lime uh, to, to put it on their plots and anything that you do no matter what it is in life is it to, to get ahead of you know or to get something done you got to put some labor in and that's what food plots are you got to put a little labor in guys um, there's no shortcuts really in anything and some of these products that that companies come out with I'm like or I see people market I'm like yeah that's great you know good for them it, that seems like a good product or I've used it in the past and it does work some stuff though you just have to think think about it and it's like man is this really going to solve all my problems and with liquid lime the answer is no some people don't want to fork out that money you know for lime so they add this liquid lime well let's for instance say you have a 5.5 pH and you're adding this liquid lime and then you toss all of this recommended fertilizer into the ground you're wasting your fertilizer money you're better off saving your money okay don't add the fertilizer save your your money and buy physical lime okay it's more important for lime than it is fertilizer if your pH is low into the acidic range you just keep tossing all this money into fertilizer the plants just can't absorb it because the soil is acidic you're better off saving your dollars and throwing it into actual lime whether you can do 400 pounds this year 500 pounds next year whatever it is buy that physical lime add it and you'll your result your results will be way better than, than spending your money on some liquid lime product I'm telling you there's no shortcuts in this guys and most people aren't following a soil sample which I don't know why it that's $14 which is cheap insurance for your food plot you've got to be following soil samples the answer is not liquid lime the answer is following the proper steps in food plot soil samples soil to seed contact lime fertility levels sunlight all this stuff plays a role into having adequate food plots please don't take the shortcuts in the liquid lime just follow a soil sample add physical pelletized lime or ag lime powdered lime whatever you have but try to skip out on the liquid lime guys it's not the answer to your problems I have tons of videos on this channel you can check out for food plots and heck you can even comment down below and I'll help you out if you have problems with your food plots I'm always answering comments and willing to help you guys out I have some of you guys shoot me emails all week long and I respond to you free information okay any questions leave a comment down below I'll see you guys on the next video